Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome back to Subnautica. I really wish I had a, a, had a day uh, between this episode and last, but unfortunately I could not get an episode up yesterday. Pax East was too much and I was exhausted and I decided to just take a day off and I don't like doing it, but I did. But between that, I did look to see where the next, uh, where, where the moon pool fragments could be found. And I believe we're going to be looking to get those today. Uh, because I'd really like to upgrade um, my uh, sea moth, amongst other things. Now, from my understanding, biodiversity in this region unusually low? Wait, what? From my understanding, is what I was going to say, is that it's this way, like, uh, what is it, about north of the island I was at, and then underground. Uh, or not underground, but towards the bottom. Um, okay, stop, stop. But, what? Oh, the biodiversity of this region is low. I don't know what that means. There's like a cave with something glowing. Yeah, this may be worth exploring. Uh, let's see, we're at 167. That should be enough to use our sea moth. We don't get to use our sea moth very often, so I'm into it. Let's do it. Well casting safe depth. It's 200 meters is a safe depth. Thought it was three. It's two. I think three was the Cyclops in its barest form. I'm gonna try. Oh, God. No, no, no. I don't wanna. Damage imminent. No, no, relax. I'm fine. I wonder if this is like a poison plant or something. Let's see if we can scan it. Okay, all right. Up, up, up. I stalk. I stalk. A cave dwelling tuber dotted with luminescence, uh, photosensitive eyes. These eyes may also be in some way direct, uh, direct the twisted growth of the stems. This is a plant. I don't think I can do anything. Let's see if we can get a sample. I did get a sample out of it. All right. Neat. Um. I mean, it definitely, it looks and feels barren. Uh, again, another reason I desperately need the moon pool because I can't do much uh, without upgrading my sea moth. Like I'd love to get a more up close and personal exploration, but I can't really until I get uh, upgrades. So we're gonna hope. Hello, I'm home. So we've got this now. I stock seeds, so we can plant it maybe when we get back home. In case that is something we we want to do. All right, let's uh let's keep going. Let's see if we can find what we want. I don't really know uh, where I'm going to be looking here, other than heading back. This is like a deep ass cave down there. I'm actually, I like really want to go down there. Um, we need to build, we need to build, actually, now that I think about it, whoa. We have to go up. Uh, I need to build some beacons. That's a stasis rifle, light stick, equipment. To build another O2 tank, I do wonder if I, if that'll affect me in any way. I'll give it a shot, actually. Let's see if this does anything. Oh, it did. Oh, right, I need copper wire. That's something I, I was planning on getting, but didn't, which is fine. Uh, I am surprised that having another air tank actually does upgrade it. For some reason, I thought that functionality was removed uh, in an update, and I'm feeling kind of stupid that that's something I thought. Because clearly that's not the case, at least not anymore. I wonder if there was something they did remove at some point and then put it back. It's also excessively quiet. 
It's all green over there and stuff. So the area the moon pool fragments are supposedly in uh, is like those blue glowy orb area that I was in before. But the direction they said to go was north. I don't know how right that is, but we're going to try. I, I kind of want to stay as low as I can. And I recognize this. I'm pretty sure this is an area we've been to many, many times. But we're going to pass by our life pod on the uh, western side here. So we're not going to be going towards our life pod. There's another sunken life pod. And another thing to go and explore. But I think we've already explored that. The sun is setting. Let's, uh, let's move to the top here top camera angle. Alright. Is it bringing, like, the per the person I, I read uh, and he showed a tutorial video said to go this way. I wonder if this is the same spot as from before. I need to get a little higher here. So far, so good. Nothing super exciting. The other thing, too, is a lot of people were giving mixed advice because a lot of it's out of date. So the, the advice that I ended up reading was the more, uh, the, the most recent I could find. I swear before, moon, moon pool fragments used to be in the mushroom area like this. But that doesn't seem to be the case any longer. Basically, I just want to, I need to get all that stuff done, because as soon as I can, if, if it boils down to, like, I need to go find this shit off camera, then so fucking be it, I'll do it uh, again. But I, I do want to give it an honest attempt here on camera uh, before I, I end up going and hunting it off camera for, like, an hour. And then what I'll end up doing is I'll probably, if I can't find it this episode, I will go hunting it off camera and then start recording. Maybe I'll give it another episode, but I'll start recording once I find it kind of thing. Again, just trying not to take up too much time. Yeah, I had a feeling. I saw, I saw like a glimmer. What is, is this? I don't think this is it, but I'm gonna go over here anyway, cause it's glowing and I wanna see it. I know I've seen these plants before. These look amazing at night. Like very, very, very beautiful. Crab squids can be around here, though, and that, that does concern me kind of a lot. Game's getting a little framey as it kind of loads everything in. Can it be over here? I don't think it can. We're going to turn, and we're going to kind of scour this stuff anyway. A bunch of eggs all loading in. I'm just keeping an eye out for either what looks like a piece of a building or those typical like nondescript gray safe looking things which is what blueprints who don't have a proper model yet uh, look like and I'm kind of enjoying the chill atmosphere as well because of I'm I'm, I'm, po I'm recording this the end of Sunday which was the last day of pack so I'm, I'm a little on the tired side uh, but I want to have something for you tomorrow at least two or th I'd like to get three things recorded all told but two would be ideal, and I at least want to get this one done now so I can have it done and rendered. I, this is super pretty. This is not what the place looked like, though. There's a crab squid. Yo, there's some sweet music happening.
That's actually some ladies singing. Whoa, 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 be careful. Oh, hell yeah. Break it down. Sing it for me. Wanna hear it. Love it when you sing to me. Burp, burp. I got no more lines. Okay. Not only am I bad at coming up with lines on the spot as it is, uh, but I'm also tired. Okay. Um. This is a really cool biome. I I don't think I've actually personally properly explored here. What? This is... I don't think I've been here. If I have, well, my memory is gone. Alright, we're gonna save it and we're gonna check out what this possibly has for us here. I'm just worried about the crab squids. It's a voice log. And it's getting, like, the spoopy noises now. Okay, so that is new. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you, Frank. All systems online. Appreciate it. Okay. Data downloads, life pods, this. Uh, CTO, flotation devices have failed. We're flooding, we should evacuate. Who's CTO? I don't, that's something officer. Wait, I can reconfigure the O2 system to act as a bilge. It's working! Crash. Okay, good news, we're alive and we've stopped sinking. Bad? The O2's going to run out in 30 minutes and we're 500 meters down. What do we do? We run the math. Sputtering, I don't want to pressure you, but my feet aren't touching the floor anymore. Okay, okay, I think I can cobble together a rebreather. We can take a dive reel and chart our way out of this chasm and back to the surface. What if it's still too far? Then we salvage what we can from the area and think of something else. And we keep doing that until it's not too far or the alien fish finally learn we're edible. Interesting. So is there a dive reel I can follow and like follow their progress? It, it doesn't look like it. I hope one day they, it's gonna sound morbid as hell, but I hope one day they implement like bodies of like the survivors in the game. So you can kind of like, oh, that's what happened to them. Oh, shit. This is a cave. Oh, yeah, this is a proper cave. Hey, this is a, it's a, like a long one of those assholes. Unfortunately, I think we need to back out here. I'm going to go up and over here. I don't really want to risk getting the Cyclops stuck. But the exploration has been fucking top notch recently. So there's that weird electrical like tapeworm thing I've seen before. There's quite a few of them. Hey man, how's it going? How's things? How's the family? Okay, okay. You know, you don't need to do that, dude. Everything's fine. Like, we can be bros. I have no issues being your friend. I will recruit you. You can guard me as I explore. There's so much glowy stuff, I just want to check out. But I can't. Oh, it suddenly got dark. Okay. All right. Got to remember this this feels like Reaper Leviathan stuff territory, so Yeah, cuz it's like it's a drop. It is a huge drop. Holy shit. There's no way this is normal. We've got... 
A little bit. Let's actually just, let's like watch our depth here. Okay, let's pull out. We're about to hit something. When in doubt, pull out, baby. You know what I'm saying? I see absolutely nothing. We're going to get to about 850 and then stop. And then we'll have to ascend. So clearly this is not the right way. Okay, we gotta slow down. Am I at like the end of the developer area? Like that's how it feels. Okay. Let's turn around. Let's start to rise. This is not the right... This is not the right way. Almost smacked into something there. Not even close. I thought maybe we'd hit something, but it could be even further down. Like, there could actually be something down there. But I highly, highly doubt it. Ooh. There's a lot of flickering happening. Doesn't seem very natural, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Find, yep, there it is. Find the cliff face. Start making our way back. Looks like we have to put some battery replacements soon here. Alright, well, that that's at least some knowledge there. We hit some sort of uh, dead end, as it were. So, I feel like I either followed the instructions incorrectly, which is 10,000% possible, or something's changed between that video and this, and this, but the video was pretty recent, like a, uh, like two months old. But there has been an update, or two, since then, so it's very possible things have changed. I thought I was like, I was in it, man. I thought I had it. I thought I was good to go. Oh, we're back at the island. Oh, we're back at, at, like, we're home. I didn't realize we were so close, but we are home. Well, again, I can't even, like, count it as, like, oh, man, what a loss. Because we got to see a new biome. And for me, that's half, the, that's half the fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love seeing new stuff, and it's just really cool. go grab a couple of batteries that desperately need to be replaced. Okay. Can't go over there. Okay. Let's go do that. Put these in. And get those going. Alright, I'm going to have to stop here because I don't know where to go next. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. I'm going to do a little bit of maintenance work like food and water. Uh, and then we'll, we'll, I'm going to do a little bit more research and then be done. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.